Hello, I'm Nick Park from Evangelical Alliance Ireland, and this is our weekly message. It's Friday, but Sunday's coming. You may have noticed that the whole issue of refugees and immigration has been becoming more and more highlighted in Irish news lately. Uh, we seem to have become more intolerant in some ways. Uh, we, we've got more refugees, obviously, because of the Ukrainian crisis in particular. We've got more refugees in Ireland than ever before. And as a result of that, there are people who are protesting. There are people trying to stir things up. Uh, we have far right uh, political parties that are trying to in insert themselves and gather some support in this whole process. thought this would just be a good time to remind you of a book that we produced through Evangelical Alliance uh, eight years ago. Actually, uh, after I took over as executive director, this was the first book that we produced. Uh, it, it was called uh, Ministries, Ministry to Migrants and Asylum Seekers. And it's actually a book that now is used as a part of the curriculum of many Bible colleges and, and uh, institutions around Europe. There's very little literature at the time on this subject from a Christian perspective. And so this book really seemed to scratch an itch. And I believe it is as relevant today as it was when it was first written. Uh, it covers several aspects. It covers, first of all, a biblical approach to immigration. Because many people, when they start off talking about immigration, it's based on experience or it's based on political viewpoints, not upon the Word of God. And as Christians, we need to start in the Word of God. And so we look at what we look at how God told the people of Israel to care for the, the stranger and the alien. And we look particularly at what the New Testament says about us uh, as Christian believers, that we are strangers and pilgrims and aliens in this world. That actually we are the immigrants because we live in a strange world as strangers in a strange land. And we are to be in the world, but not of the world. And when we approach the whole situation of migration and immigration from that standpoint, that we are not one of the the people who have the power trying to exclude other people, but we ourselves are the people that are on the margins. It gives us a very different viewpoint and a way of looking at this. Uh, the book, after starting with that biblical approach, the book moves on to look at the Irish experience, because of course we are a nation of immigrants. You know, um, many of the issues that people ha seem to have with immigrants today, people have the same issues with Irish immigrants going to the UK, going to Canada. Uh, you know, I can remember a time when they were the, I was over in England and they did have signs uh, say, saying uh, no, no dogs are Irish in boarding houses. Uh, so we encountered many of those same problems as a nation that other nations now uh, do encounter when they try to arrive in, in a new country. Uh, even to the extent of crime, for example, uh, every time somebody who's uh, an immigrant from somewhere else commits a crime, it seems that seems to be highlighted so much than if an Irish person does it. And in fact, we now have with social media, we have cases where there's no immigrant involvement and yet people are falsely spreading it on social media that these crimes were permitted by, committed by immigrants. Am I saying that uh, migrants or refugees or asylum seekers never commit crimes? Of course, I'm not saying any such thing. Any group of people, you know, you're going to find chancers among them. You're going to find criminals among them. Just as whenever the Irish emigrated to the US, there were gangsters and thieves and con artists among them, just as there are among any other group of people. But certainly as the Irish people, we've we've had a, a long history of being migrants to other countries and thank God for the welcome that we were able to achieve. And lives were saved and families were saved by people sending remittances home because they'd gone as, as economic migrants to other countries. Uh, then the book moves on into a learning curve. You know, how can we as churches learn to be more effective in reaching out to people from other countries and I do believe this is one area where the evangelical church in Ireland has been ahead of the rest of the population. There's some things we've handled badly over the last few years but there's some areas where the church has done very well and I do believe when it comes to welcoming people from other countries the church has been ahead of the rest of society here in Ireland. And then the book finishes up with sharing some ideas and some practical ways to serve with the idea that that would spark in each one of us 
uh, creative ways that we can share the love of Jesus Christ more effectively uh, with people from other countries. As a local pastor, I have been ministering into the lives of people from other lands. I've been ministering to churches and groups from other countries uh, for over 24 years now. And I have to say that has been the most, I think it's possibly the most productive and blessed experience I've ever had in my 40 years plus of walking with Jesus Christ and 35 years plus of being involved in, uh, in full time Christian ministry. So uh, I would encourage you, this book is still relevant today. If you haven't got a copy, you can get a copy through Evangelical Alliance Ireland. Just go onto our website, uh, evangelical.ie. Uh, it's basically six euros and for that uh, another one euro post and, and packing. So for seven euro, you can get your own copy of this book or you can go on Amazon and you can order it. I think it's something like 99 cents. It's like an in incredibly uh, scandalously cheap if you want to buy it as a Kindle ebook as well. So the book's called uh, Ministry to Migrants and Asylum Seekers. It's a publication from Evangelical Alliance Ireland. Uh, it has been a blessing for, for people across Europe and around the world to learn how to effectively, as the Church of Jesus Christ, show love to people arriving from other nations. It is my prayer that the book will continue to do that for many more years to come. Thank God, I believe we in Ireland, we have something to offer the international church from our experiences. It might be Friday, but Sunday's coming.